Greetings Transformers fans, welcome to another video review. Up for review today is 2007 Transformers Movie Edition Voyager Class Optimus Prime. And this is how he comes out of the box in vehicle mode. And he is a Peterbilt uh, semi-tractor trailer truck semi-truck. Uh, I, I, I like vehicles. I'm a car freak, but I don't really know a whole lot about uh, semis, but I'm pretty sure he's a Peterbilt. What, what I do know about vehicles is his proportions are a little off. Um, there's no headache rack in the back. Uh, the dimensions for the sleeper cab are a little off. There should be a pretty good gap between what is disguised as the fuel tanks and the rear wheels. The spacing is a little off. Um, the air filters may be a little too big. The the engine the engine is looks a little too Chaco block may be a little cartoony in its proportions and as you can see this big hinge here kind of throws it off uh, and also the you can see some kibble back here but the detailing is really good you can see the diamond plate on the steps where you climb into the cab there's a lot of good detail along here even though I know that it should be fuel tanks. You can see the uh, uh, stamping rivets. The grill has got tons of detail in it all the way down to I guess you could call that some radiator detailing. Translucent blue lights, turn signal, side or marker lights. The detailing on it is just excellent. Um, on the bottom other than the hands, there's really no obvious robot pieces. There's one little gimmick in here where when you open the door up, I don't know if you can see it very well, there's a little guy sitting in there with a cowboy hat on. And when you open the door, Oh, he disappeared. I don't know why they put that in there, but it's a cool feature. And when you close it back and press it quick, whoop, he pops back in. All right. Plastic wheels, but he rolls really well. And he's pretty good. Between vehicle and robot mode, there is a... Uh, bonus mode. I don't I think it says it's the attack mode. Oops. Once you have the fuel tank, smoke stack, exhaust that will become his guns that he can hold in his hands out you get kind of Optimus Prime attack mode. I think that's silly. There's no need for that. Never saw it in the movie. It's just probably part of the transformation makes it look like that. So on to the transformation. I take these off because it's a little bit easier to work with them. Excuse me. And the first thing after we get the rear fender or rear splash guard fender things out of the way the first thing is part of the automorph. When you lift the sleeper cab out and pull these apart a little bit. When you pull the foot piece out, oh, come on, get his uh, heel spur out. I just cut my fingernails so it's hard to get my hands on these things. When you lift this up and start to fold it down, these panels kind of move on their own. 
right here. One folds into the inside and then it becomes the knee. Same thing on the other side, lift up, pull the heel spur out. You can see it. The lighting isn't so good, but you can see that panel moving. And then it snaps together. That's pretty much it for his feet. I'm gonna pull these up and pull the hands out. Rotate the cab. And kind of back on itself like it's folding backwards. I'm gonna take these hands, rotate them, rotate them back like this and then swing it down and we'll click into place. He's got these uh, gauntlets, forearm shields that come off apparently very easy. They just fold back into place. Same thing on this side. Arm up. Rotate it back. And then it should fold down and snap. Same thing with this on the shield. Pull his head out this way. And just to kind of dress up the back, all you do is pull it out and then snap it down. Everything is very solid, very tight. Everything clicks into place pretty well. take that weapon again and even though there's a place for his hand to wrap around there's actually a hole and then a peg on his forearm right in front of the wrist that holds it in place and there you have Voyager class Optimus Prime dual wielding you can put the other one on the other hand but what I like to do is, in the same way they attached in vehicle mode, you can attach them uh, in robot mode. Put it in, and since that sticks up way high, what I'll do is I'll rotate it down just to kind of have it out of the way and slightly hidden depending on where he's sitting on the shelf or on my desk. In this mode, he's got a lot more color and tons tons more detail especially around the rib cage abdomen area you can see what looks like uh, just like in the movie very accurate uh, radiator pieces it looks like some of the headlight pieces are in there uh, all very nicely detailed and done his headlight or his, his, his headlight his head's got great light piping in it you can get a light in on it. His eyes glow this very vibrant blue. It looks really good if you've got a, a small LED above it. Um, the only detractor is I wish they could have done something more with this big backpack. But all in all, a good figure. Um, if you want to get the I would recommend this one just because it's the first one. But if you see them and you can get them for a good price, check them out. See y'all later.